Brother, sister, the celestial energies, brother wisdom. I'm just going to be really quick with this right here. Just a quick message here. Um, brother and I, well, he's a neighbor. Uh, we were talking about science today and um, outside here. And I love science. You know, I love talking about science. And uh, we were talking about the sun, why the sun is white. So, you know, I told him, you know, I said the sun used to be yellow. Then, you know, I was talking about the the areas that, you know, I was explaining to him that, you know, our planet is inside of a star system. The star system is inside of a galaxy. And this galaxy is inside the universe. And I say sometimes we go through gas chambers through the universe where all the planets are affected by these gases that we go through. And, you know, I told him, I said, well, but I said, but our planet um, is a sphere. And I told him, I said, all that blue sky is xenon. I said, xenon up there in the sky. And I told him, you know, he says, okay, he says, I can see that. I can see that. I said, xenon is extremely hot um, when, because um, it's charged by plasma. And I explained it, you know, that our, our planet is 99.9999999% plasma. And then, you know, I was like, I'm like, I'm like, because the sky is xenon and the xenon is extremely hot when it's charged, because that blue is nothing but xenon, it's completely, it's, it's extremely hot. There should not be any winter time here on this planet, which means that winter time is created by these white people. They're creating winter time. I'm not going into no inorganic beings. And I'm just the white folk that's doing this shit. I'm go just going to be flat out. That's the white folk that's doing this shit. Okay. And they're creating this winter shit because at a certain point when we flow through, well, actually they're, what they're trying to do is they're trying to give themselves a, a, a time to enjoy the cold and give us a time to enjoy the heat is what they're doing. Let's just, I'm just, this, we, they're, they're talking, they're doing politics. All right. And it's called planetary politics, but we don't need their planetary politics. So basically they're giving themselves the time to enjoy the nice cold because a lot of them like cold weather. And then they're giving us the time to enjoy the heat. But the time to enjoy the heat is a whole lot lesser than the cold. Seriously. All right. So our planet is 99.99999% plasma. The sky is xenon that's charged up by plasma. Xenon is extremely, extremely hot. That's that blue flame. The blue flame is the hottest of all the flames. So xenon, what you see up in the sky, is extremely hot. Our sun, all right, and I was explaining to the neighbors, I said, you know, that, that white. He said, well, why is the sun white? And I told him, and then I, I told him, I said, because carbon dioxide, when it's charged up by plasma, when it's charged, it turns white. So we have a carbon sun that turns white. The carbon, when charged up, turns white. And the carbon dioxide, when it's charged, is extremely, extremely hot. Okay? And I told him, I said, sometime you may see when the sun rising, it may be an orange color, but that's only because it's rising over the horizon. And we're seeing it from a ways off. But when it's in the sky, it's white. And, you know, I told him, I explained to him, I said, well, he says, well, is that for the moon too? I said, the moon, carbon dioxide. The moon is, is white as well. So it's giving off massive amounts of carbon that's feeding the planet. So we got to see our sun and our moon are feeding the planet massive amounts of carbon and massive amounts of oxygen. Those days where um, our planet was a hydrogen-based planet, those days are gone. Now we come into something new and I, and I explain it to him. I say, you know, we never know. You know, we may come into a, a point where our sun may become green and be charged up by krypton and be feeding us nothing but pure krypton instead of carbon. You say we don't we don't we know it's that's that's how that's how everything works here on this planet. So, you know, just um, it's like a, a planet one on one session. You know, <laughs> you know um, I did some studying on ether and. You know, what I read was that ether is a currency to these white folk. This is ether. All right. And they make anesthesia from ether. <laughs> Seriously. Anesthesia that they use from the doctor's office is created from ether. 
All right. This is ether. Anesthesia is created from ether. So, so many different, so much science. I'm just, just a quick little science lesson. That's it. Just a quick little science lesson. So, you know, it, it's, it's good to understand science. But, you know, as I was explaining to him, I say, you know, we got to understand, you know, that our planet is like, when you talk about the rainbow spectrum, when you look up in the sky, and especially after these white folk that created rain and, and, and all the chemicals that they don't use to create the rain, as those chemicals are coming down and you see the plasma, you can see the, 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 the gases in the air that's affected by the chemicals, but it's that plasma energy that's charging up the gases in the air. And you can see the, 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 the rainbows. And those rainbows is, is oftentimes are gateways in certain, in certain areas. But um, this, that's, that's the science behind it. Our planet, our planet is literally a plasma-based planet. You know? And you know, as I was explaining to him that our skin is used to make... Um, uh, here it goes right here. Our skin is used to make solar panels. All right? They use our skin to make solar panels, and um, because our our skin has solar receptors, so you know, as I explained it to him, our bodies and you know these white folk bodies, I ain't gonna get into that shit right there. He goes, I've already been there, but it's just the science of the planet, you know, the science the science of our planet, and understand why things happen the way they happen, how things act, how things you know. So just like we talked about our leaves, the leaves get, uh, gather the energy from the sky so our so xenon which is up there that blue sky and xenon is is is, is a carbon based um element it's a carbon based element so it's i mean that blue sky is pushing down xenon constantly so when you feel that cool air and you see this white you see these white folk in their planes flying across the sky when it's extremely hot then all of a sudden now at nighttime it gets cold and that's because they that chemical that they put into the atmosphere to cool down the temperature of the planet, because at nighttime, the, it's hotter at nighttime than it is during the day. All right. And you have to understand that at nighttime, the moon, that moon that's pushing out that heat, that energy, that carbon energy, the carbon energy coming from the moon is like way harder than the carbon energy coming from the sun. So at nighttime, it's even it's harder. It's like two times hotter at nighttime than it is during the daytime. That's why sometimes you'd be like, "Ooh, I'll be glad when the night is over and the day comes," because it feels a little cooler during the daytime because our sun is not as hot as the moon. The moon is way hotter than the sun. This is science, brothers and sisters. This is science. You gotta understand this. The moon is way harder than the sun, so the moon gives off carbon dioxide too. That's why it's white, and it's got is you know. And then I told him, I told the brother, I said the moon is is platinum, it's titanium, and it's monatomic gold. So you got to understand the moon is um uh made up of different uh, uh elements, powerful elements. But the moon is white. Why? Because it's charged. It because it's mostly carbon dioxide. And it's pushing carbon energy onto the planet, just like the sun is pushing carbon energy. And when they say they want to reduce the, 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 the carbon on the planet, what do they do? They cover up the sky so that the moon won't shine and so that the sun won't shine so that there won't be so much carbon on, come, coming onto the planet. Because these white folk, their bodies can't take too much carbon energy. Their body can't take too much carbon. It hurts them. So they try to spray the sky to try to make it even for us. We don't need that shit in the sky. This is why it's important that we get back into the science and physics and, 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 and intelligence and technology so that we can save our planet. So that we can go ahead and get up there in the sky so we can fly up in the sky and do what we got to do. And I'm not talking about jumping up and flying. I'm talking about us getting in machines that we have to build and create and fly up in the sky and do what the fuck we got to do. I mean, this is this is what it's all about. So understand the science of our planet, the science of our planet, our planet. We are carbon beings. Our sun pushes out carbon. Our moon pushes out carbon. That's why both of them are white. That white is carbon dioxide that's charged up by plasma energy. That old 60s video when that white guy said the moon is nothing but plasma. He was absolutely right. The moon is nothing but plasma. The sun, our atmospheric sun, is nothing but plasma. The sister I talked to that one day, she said that was a five mile, that's a five mile radius sphere, sphere around 
the sun. And she said, there's, that's, it's, it's, it's number, but thick, thick layers of plasma. And I, and I told her, I said, yeah, cause I know they've tried to fire several missiles into the sun and the missiles got nowhere near the sun. She says, exactly. She said, exactly. So the sun is protected by this huge, powerful plasma sphere. They can't destroy it. It's indestructible. All right. So the best thing that they know how to do is to try to cover up the sun and spray this shit in the sky so that we can't get carbon. But the carbon is hurting their people. We don't give a damn about their people. Let's get back into the science, brothers and sisters. Okay, it's, it's, it's extremely important. Like I said, this is a quick message. Get back into science. All right. We got to get up off the ground. We got to get up there. We got to blow their shit up. We got to blow all they shit up. The, the shit that they use to spray to put the shit in the sky. All they 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 chambers and 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 CERN and fucking um what else uh harp and all that we got to get up there we got to blow this shit up which means that we got to use our brains and and increase our frequencies and vibrations and build this shit all right we working together we working together I keep getting um these download images of a of a a, a, a plasma based engine where it, Things are moving around, but I just can't get the perspective of it. So if you all get some downloads on that, just share it on this on on this blog here on this on this blog video, and I'll be coming back to this video randomly checking on it. But this is just a science about our planet. Just a quick message, brothers and sisters. Just a quick message. Science about our planet. We got to get our shit together. We got to get out, take our planet back. But our sun, because it's it's white, because that's carbon dioxide. And when carbon dioxide is charged up by plasma energy, carbon dioxide turns white. Our moon is white because it's carbon dioxide. Now, when our moon turns what they, what they call a blood moon, you got to understand that the moon is going through the transformation stage and there's certain elements and gases Location, around the moon. Oaxaca, and Mexico, class, light, us. magnitude, 4.1, right? 22 so minutes ago. when we go.